Welcome back, Leo, and thank you for tuning in. If you're new, welcome in. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the likes and the comments. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, we're going to start your general collective reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, also Rising, North Node, wherever you have it in your chart. It's going to be an intuitive reading from May 15th through May 31st in love. Now, I already heard some messages. What I heard was brick by brick, I kept hearing. This is like removing the walls, getting ready to overcome a battle here, okay? Letting your friends help you. Yes, I did see a friend coming in. I saw someone that could be a sibling or it could be a friend. It could be um, someone that is very close and near to you here that's getting ready to support you. It's giving you strength. So help from one another here Laying, is like bringing a hand in, expressing their gratitude for you. Healing family issues, Leo. So your love life is benefiting as you forgive your parents. Like I feel, there could be an issue here of an emotional um, feeling of insecurity. Um, someone that didn't feel worthy enough. All right. Somebody here has mommy issues or daddy issues. There's also a sense of family dynamic here. It feels like there could be a father that abandoned a child or a mother that abandoned a child here. Kind of a feeling I'm getting from this card here. I see children for some of you here. You could have two children. So Leo, it says soulmate. This is your soulmate here, okay? So you're in a connection here in a union. Um, it's asking for you to keep an open mind, okay? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Um, honeymoon. So there's somebody that you could be meeting on a vacation or on a trip that you're taking. It could be a short trip. Or someone here wants to get away with you for the next holiday. Okay? So it feels like, Leo, there's something here where I feel you're getting ready to move forward on. This could be someone new that you're met here or someone that's a friend of somebody. It's like whatever party, event, or gathering that you're going on, somebody that is being introduced to you. Now, it could be in love. It could be meeting your soulmate here. We're going to put these cards like this, okay? And we're going to get out the Enchanted Tarot. We're going to do the Two of Hearts. This reading may not resonate for all of you Leos out there. Let's go ahead and shuffle. This is for Leo. The first card will be out your overall energy, Leo. The second card will be what is between you and your person that you're thinking about. The third card will be their overall energy. And the bottom of the deck will be the challenge and disconnection. So we'll see what's coming out. For some of you, you're, you're, you're revisiting your past. This could be healing family dynamics here, okay? There could be a sense of forgiving, learning, somebody that wants to come back in. This could be a father figure that wants to come back to heal this relationship. This is a very strong soulmate connection. They could be wanting to take you away on a little holiday trip, a little weekend. This is someone who I feel for some of you, someone that you were either engaged to or married or living in a companionship. Let's see, Leo. Your first card is the moon. So you're deeply in your feeling insecurity right now, okay? You're feeling like a loss for home or missing home, okay? Or feeling far away from home. Four of Swords is in the middle of your reading here. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Five of Wands is your person, Leo. And Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here. So, Leo, right now it feels like you could have Cancer or Pisces in your chart or be dealing with somebody. You are definitely facing your insecurities. You could be having anxiety right now, a sense of in fear, a sense of also when you look at this card, there's a little girl here with her dog, right? She's far from home here, and the moon is opening up her eyes to her. So being in touch here, right, I feel like stargazing, looking up at the sky, at the moon here, reflecting on feeling that you're very far away from home. You're feeling very insecure right now. You could be feeling homesick, 
there's a feeling here of an reaching a point where you're trusting your intuition here okay so let's go ahead and read from the book for leo something that you're insecure about like i felt these bricks here okay moon i'm sorry there we go let me hold it up so you can see how beautiful the illustration is on this card and it says, you need to go on without a clear picture of where you are, where you are going or where you have been. You do not have to fear the unknown. With intuition and faith in yourself and benevolent forces, you can succeed. So fearing the unknown, not knowing what direction you're headed in right now is what I'm feeling. Now we have three, four, five here. The numbers are in synchronistic order here. So with the four of swords being in the reading here, there's a sense of you're on a break right now or you're trying to gain your inner peace back. Just breathe, Leo, is what I'm feeling here. There's a need for you to meditate, a need for you to go within for the answers are always within. There's a sense of you are recharging, you're trying to recuperate after conflict here between you and your person. Five of Wands is your person. If you look at this card, your person is either going through internal conflict, but definitely on the outside, there's someone here that's telling your person some secrets. They're very jealous. They're lies. The Five of Wands are petty, okay? So someone around your person is very petty. They're telling your person things here, like I felt Aries, Leo, Sag could be here. There's a disagreement, there's competition. Somebody here has got it against you. Somebody got it out for you. So somebody here is telling this person a secret, right? Hoping that it won't be, but it goes right into gossip, the five of wands. You got gossipers here. So there's people that are gossiping about you here, okay? Which is a judgment that's being made here. The three of wands is at the bottom of the deck. You're waiting for your ships to come in and they're coming in. You got the sun and the moon. So you got the lunar solar eclipse here. Wow. Leo, there you go. You're waiting for something positive that's coming in. Positive news that's on its way here. Two of pentacles. You're going to need to gain balance here. You're going to balance the negative and the positive aspects of what's going on. You're going to need to prioritize where your next step is that you're ready to take. Spirit, the higher... The higher in, infinite intelligence is coming in, right? The sun is telling me it's shining through. Positive uh, news is on its way. It's coming to you here. But you need to get ready to make a choice is what I feel. So let's read the three of wands and see what this tension is that you're going through, that you're waiting on right now. Let's see. Okay. The Three of Wands, it's a beautiful card. It says, you need to become more aware of the opportunities that do exist for you right now. There may be more than you are aware of. The, to best see and take advantage of them, you must concentrate, cooperate, and remain open-minded here. So there's a sense of expectations that you're waiting for, right? And you're fearing something that you're trying to create. You could be letting yourself down, feeling disappointed, feeling like something here is impossible. But like I felt, positive is going to come. It's going to come in when it comes in, divine timing. You can't control the timing of when it comes in, but there's something here that you need to be um, aware of. You need to have it come in with ease and grace here. So not being so commanding or demanding what's going on in your life, but rather being open to what's in front of you, what's under your nose right now. And that is like where I feel you can make that change in the energy. Your person is going through a sense of conflicted right now. They're hearing lies and rumors is what I feel in this connection during a breakup here, okay? So let's see what's happening here. Let's see the moon card. For Leo, sun and moon. Wow, solar eclipse. <laughs> so whatever you are right now with the moon, this is the south node, the north node you can have in your chart of Leo. You're purging right now. You're cleansing out what needs to go here, okay? 
facing your insecurities and do not resist the change that's here. So it feels like you are not resisting it. You're facing your, what needs to be healed right now, which will bring in a very powerful shift that will open up a new door, Ace of Wands, a new door opening up. Like I feel, this Ace of Wands could be a secret friend with benefits that you have here. There's a sense of a secret love affair, Leo, or a secret affair that was here, okay? Ace of Wands, or a new idea, okay? Something highly sexual and passionate, Four of Swords, yep, that you're taking a break from right now. Four of Swords twice here. So it's like, whatever it is that you're having here, there's intense dreams that you're having. There's a lot of libido. You have a lot of options, Leo, Seven of Cups here. There's a sense of confused, um, not knowing which option to take here. I feel there's a new passionate offer here. I feel that whatever this is, you have multiple options uh, here right now. You're in this phase of, of praying, meditating, dreaming, right? Hoping for the answer at night, okay? It feels like you're in this state of meditation. You could be feeling very anxious about this new person that you're with. There's somebody here that I feel you have that you're keeping quiet about. Five of Swords, yeah. It's bringing in conflict for sure to you. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Five of Swords is a feeling of tension, conflict, wanting to win at all costs, somebody that's very combative. Uh, it's a sense of, yeah, and Six of Swords. Revenge. Somebody here could be revengeful or wanting revenge. Six of Swords is here to clarify that you're moving into something where you are receiving clarity. She can see where she's going, whether you're a male or a female. Six of Swords is a sense of no more uh, limited beliefs of keeping you stuck. You're moving into the unknown fearfully. So you're becoming fearlessly moving forward. There's something here that you regret, but it feels like it's necessary. Like I feel, this is where the healing begins. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. I feel something here where you're surrendering this, this battle needing to walk away where somebody here wants to fight for a connection but i feel you're you're moving forward six of swords you're finding that it's calm cool and collective elsewhere you're moving out of confusion you see clearly now so pisces and neptune energy is here it's a feeling of making a choice here moving past the illusion seeing past the fog right four of swords for you leo is knight of swords this was something that you're acting on fast. I feel you're getting up and you're like, you're going quickly here. You could be definitely rushing in or somebody is rushing in the King of Pentacles. This is your person or this is you. Somebody that you were in a partnership with. Leo, if you have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart here, you're making a very responsible uh, decision. I feel that you are somebody here who's got a family dynamic. You're somebody who's very successful. You're very wise. It feels like you're investing in yourself right now. And you're definitely saving for something. Eight of Pentacles, four of Pentacles. You're resisting a third party situation. I feel you're putting the work into yourself right now. Death and rebirth. There's the Scorpio eclipse that's coming in. You're letting go. So there could be an ending in a partnership or a marriage or a home situation, Leo. A situation here where I feel that you're letting go of. Or a commitment that you are holding on to. There's a sense of you letting go and going with the flow. I feel you're moving towards a passionate new offer here. Someone that you met recently. This is an ace of wands. This is a new friend here. Somebody that you're very passionate with, I feel. So let's see your person. Why are they five of wands? They could be gossiping about you. Somebody here is talking about you, Leo. Yes, it's you they're talking about. This person here sees you standing in your integrity. They see that you're very strong here. And they see you overcoming this battle here. And they are definitely looking at you here like I feel. You're not letting the psychic attack come in. So you're choosing love, you're choosing healing, you're choosing a highly protected energy where you're very favored here. 
I feel your light is hurting a lot of people around you here that are unhealed, and they're talking about you. So it feels like, let's see. They see you're becoming like the social butterfly, right? You're full of life. They're spying on you. You got spies here. Page of Swords here. Somebody very immature, petty, that's stalking you. Okay. They see this. One more for Leo. Person. Eight of Wands. Okay. They're going to come in to communicate. So you're about to get some communication, Leo. This could be from a fire sign or a Leo like yourself. This person here is very petty. Okay. Someone here is very self-centered here. They're definitely somebody here who's deceptive, right? Whatever's coming in here is a message of communication. Eight of Wands. This person is about to reach out to you here with passionate messages. This is somebody here very fiery, long distance, wanting to take action, wanting to travel. Unexpected communication coming in here. So let's see why they see Leo with strength and courage, judgment. Because you're making a judgment. And like I felt, they're going to be judged for the lies that are being said here. Somebody here has judged you. And judgment is being made here. The horns are being blown. So, Leo, it feels like whatever this is, there's going to be a judgment made. Something here that's going to change everything. Ace of Cups. Wow. This person's coming in with a new beginning. An Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. You have a page here to the Five of Wands. There's competition here. I feel that you have more than one offer coming towards you here. Yep, an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Somebody that you blocked out is coming towards you. Somebody that you that you set up boundaries, you put up your guard, you're feeling very defensive about. Like I feel, Seven of Wands, Leo. They're coming in. And you got Ace of Cups. Somebody sees you moving forward. And they want to come in and offer this love. Yep, but they're coming in from a place of lying, right? Somebody here is plotting and scheming against you. There's a betrayal. There's a plot against uh, you in love. Somebody here betrayed you. There was definitely Page of Pentacles. And someone's coming in with a message. Somebody wants to open up an apology, lighthearted energy. Somebody's coming in here with the sun. Some kind of a good news is coming out of this, something positive. You're also going to see it very clear. Like I said, within that three wands, right underneath it, this could be three days, three weeks, three months, you're about to see the sun here shining on you. Like I felt two of pentacles. If you had options going back and forth, which two pages are here, a choice is about to be illuminated to you here. I feel that with the sun is positive energy coming towards you, Leo. Two offers could be here. Somebody's coming towards you, definitely, with this Ace of Cups. Let's see. New love is on its way. But it feels like two people, somebody new and somebody that's from your past that could be coming back, wanting to reconcile. Six of Wands. Yep, fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody has victory planned here. Somebody sees victory with you. It's like this person I feel with the Ace of Cups is somebody who's seen in the limelight, right? Somebody who has a lot of self-confidence. This is somebody who has a lot of game, right? This is somebody who could be, like I feel, gaining progress, okay? Somebody here that is... Uh, very self-confident, let's say, very self-confident in their self that they could bring this Ace of Cups in, right? Two of uh, Wands, which makes uh, a discovery that you're about to discover. This is a love affair for some of you, okay? It could be long-distance love affair, Queen of Coins here. Someone that's going to match you, right, Leo? King to the Queen. This is what's waiting for you. There's a sense of somebody that is empowered here. The both of you here are like definitely a power couple. Very grounded, very stable, very uh, responsible people. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Cups. For some of you, you're moving towards a connection here, a commitment, right? And for some of you, they're ending it. You're making a choice to end a connection here, Leo, where you were committed to somebody. 
And the Ten of Wands is telling me there's a lot of burdens here. There's a lot of grudges. There's a sense of releasing and surrendering a cycle here where I feel you're getting ready to let, let go of a lot of heavy burdens in a connection or a partnership here. Two of Pentacles. Somebody was hot and cold or juggling, right? This situation here. Okay, money, finances were on the table, table here. There was no balance here is what I feel. So the four of swords between you and your person is there is a break here. You're trying to recuperate, I feel. I feel and at this time here, you're replenishing. You're healing. Hangman. You're in suspension right now is what I feel. Pisces energy. So isn't that funny? Aries is in suspension because Mars is still in Pisces. So if you have any Aries placement, okay, or Pisces, there's still a sense here of you need to gain a higher perspective. That's why you're in this stage of limbo, a stage of not being able to move forward right now. This is Pisces, 12th house, hidden secrets that are coming out. Also, you gaining higher knowledge, wisdom. There's something that you need to gain a higher perspective on or changing your perspective, right? On something here that you're about to see. Wow, the Empress, Venus in Taurus or Libra. There's a baby mother here, right? You're a feminine divine. You're a mother of a child or the divine Empress is here. I feel that's what the challenge is. I feel that because it's in a challenge here, there's a creative block here. There's a sense of dependence on others. Somebody's very dependent on others. It also feels like um, a sense of with the empress being in the challenge. Um, there is abundance. There's success that's waiting to be had here. And I feel that's what you need to gain a perspective on. There's a sense of fertility, abundance here. Also, there could be a hidden pregnancy here. Be careful. Somebody here could be keeping a secret. Somebody here could have definitely had an intimate connection, slept with somebody and got pregnant. And now they're feeling stuck. And that's what's giving somebody a lot of insecurities here. Okay. It's, it's like hard to move on being in suspension. Somebody's definitely could be having a baby pregnancy, keeping it a secret here. Okay. Yeah. And I could feel this is, could be gossip. People are talking. Okay, these are petty people, 3D, you know, people on the streets here. Yeah, two of swords. You see right through the bullshit. The veil is definitely lifted for you, Leo. Two of swords. You're not deaf. You're not at, you're breaking free from a crossroad. You could see right through this person. So there could be something about children, right? Somebody could have been hiding the fact that they had a child. Hierophant. And Venus, double Venus. Ooh, ooh, double Venus. There are restrictions for a reason. There's challenges going on here in a marriage or a partnership, right? Somebody here was very traditional, okay? And somebody here is receiving spiritual guidance on this connection now. It feels like Venus and Taurus is, is like definitely a family, a marriage, a commitment that's here. Long term is a challenge here. So somebody here is, is challenged in a connection, I feel the Empress is. It feels like somebody here, yeah, is in a conflict, okay? Page of Cups, somebody here is feeling trapped now. They're feeling stuck, okay? There's a sense of a misalignment, Page of Cups. Somebody offered somebody, the Empress, a small cup here. Somebody got pregnant. I keep saying that. Yeah, King of Wands was here. So, Leo, there you go. Leo, there's a sense of you coming into your power here. I feel whatever it is, Leo, you're about to break free. You're about to take action here, King of Wands. There's a level of you coming into a level of passion, driven energy, a force to be reckoned with, right? You're moving towards something solid, Ace of Pentacles. You're getting ready to take action. So whatever it is, you're opening yourself up here to a solid offer. There's a commitment with this Ace of Pentacles. Committed to an area of your money where you might be taking the lead, right? You could be becoming a bachelor. You could be keeping things casual right now. But it feels like whatever it is, you're working towards this Ace of Pentacles. You're breaking out of a Ten of Swords. So you're breaking out of a difficult ending here. A sense of a, a phase or a traumatic experience 
could be 10 years that you're breaking free from, Leo. Whether you're a male or a female. Yeah, you definitely are. And there's your soulmate. Two of Cups is here again. Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Your person is very cold, very detached. Queen of Swords. It feels like you're making a very clear choice here is what I feel. Somebody here that you're dealing with could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It feels like they're doubting this connection. Uh, there's, they're definitely coming in from a place of stressed out. They could be going through depression, a heartache. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's been, uh, their heart's been broken repetitive times. Somebody here that's very logical, making a logical decision, standing their ground, becoming very firm. Somebody here is detaching and cutting out, right? There's a, a sense of a soulmate connection here where somebody no longer trusts this person, right? You don't trust them. There's trust issues here. I feel a lot of healing, like I said here, that's taking place. Okay, two of cups is here again and chariot and seven of coins. You're about to move forward on a connection that I feel that you have the determination and willpower. This can be moving on, moving forward, relocating. This is meeting somebody, compromising with somebody. Somebody that you see long-term investment with, Leo. So this is what you're planning on doing is what I feel. You're waiting for the right time here to move forward on a connection. Temperance is here. So you are doing what is appropriate. Waiting for the time for things to move forward because you know they're moving in the direction of aligning here to something that will work for you. Eight of Pentacles with the lovers, Gemini energy. You're coming into divine alignment. There is a twin flame here, Leo, that you're moving towards. And I feel this is where the rewards are. There's a sense of getting re ready to persevere here on this vision that you're getting. Because you're getting a vision while you're in that moon energy. You're definitely having a higher insight that's coming in. So it feels like you are getting ready to move towards somebody here that is aligned with you in a soulmate connection. Um, Leo, I think we're going to leave the reading there. We're 27 minutes in. So let's see what the advice is. Like I feel that advice was take your time. Do not go to extremes. Let's see what this advice to the outcome is. King of Swords. Be very honest. Like there's a king to the queen of swords here. Two people that are mutually very detached, very cold, but being very honest with the truth. And like I feel the truth will hurt in this situation here. There's a sense of detaching, getting clarity, the truth coming in. It's a rude awakening that's coming in is what I feel, but it's going to be the honest truth. So I feel you're standing in your confidence here. There's a serious conversation that's about to come in here. Like I feel someone's going to be in uh, left in a feeling of, Insul insecurity i can't speak there's a malfunction in a connection queen to the king of swords gemini libra or aquarius something here that no longer works so i feel that you are manifesting leo with the magician energy mercury retrograde is bringing back someone here from your past okay i saw the six of cups yeah emperor here comes the emperor and now we have the empress you do have a divine counterpart here twin flame connection right and it feels like whatever this is, there's a sense of the emperor here has been manifesting a reconciling here. They're praying for swords, meditating for the empress to come back. I feel five of pentacles. They're feeling in isolation, insecure. There's a loss here, a financial loss here that's taking place. Aries energy, Virgo, Gemini, six of cups here. Yeah, you got them all here. So Leo, heavy reading. Once again, I am sending you all tons of love and light. Have a blessed May. We'll be back soon with your next reading. Thank you.